Hey guys, my name is Codict and in this video I will be showing you guys how you can retrieve any message from any Discord server using Python and the request library. So as you can see here, I have created a new server and I have sent three messages down here that we will be retrieving using Python and request. So the first thing we need to do is to create a Python file. So just right click, click on new and then create whatever file but you need to end the extension with pi. So I'm just going to name it main.py. After you've done that, of course, you want to open it in your favorite editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code for this. And once we have the code editor open, we can start to write some code. So the first thing we need to do is import the request library. And then we need to import JSON. So we're going to use these two libraries to parse or actually the request library to get the messages from Discord, from the Discord servers and then a JSON library to parse the messages. So I'm going to start off by writing a function called retrieve messages. And this function is going to take a channel ID. So this is where you paste in the channel ID of the channel that you want to scrape. And uh, of course we need a headers object. So I'm just going to type headers, create an object. And the only key we need inside here is authorization. So authorization. And how do we get this? Well, you go back to Chrome and hit Control shift i to open up the DevTools. And then you go to the Network tab and you can go to in, into any server and just type anything inside this box and it's going to send a type request as you can see here. And then you can see the request inside here, you can scroll down and you can grab the authorization. So this is basically uh, how you access your Discord account. So grab this, go back to uh, your editor and paste it in as a string. And that's the only key, as I said. So the next thing we need to do is to actually send a request. So r equals requests dot get. It's a get request. Um, because actually I can show you guys how that works. So if I just refresh this page, you're going to see that one of these requests is actually a get request. So I believe it is this one. Uh, as you can see here, it sends a request to this link. It's a get request. And basically this is the channel ID that it sends the um, get request to and then down here or if we go to preview or response we can see the response so this is the information that we are interested in now if we go back to the editor we need to basically make a request to this URL so I'm just gonna grab this the first part you don't need a limit and I'm going to paste it inside here and then I'm gonna replace this with an F string and for it to be an F string we need to actually put F here in the beginning of the string now this is going to work as expect expected, so we put in a channel ID here, it's going to go in here, and then we're going to get the correct channel. So we also need to add some headers, uh, so type headers equals headers, and that's basically it for the request. Now let me make this a little bit bigger. Now on the next line we need to parse this message, so I'm going to create a JSON object. So I'm just going to name it JSON with two ends, not conflict with the import. So JSON equals JSON.loads and then we need dr.text. So basically this will retrieve a string of all of the messages or actually all of the objects. But to, to be able to parse the objects, we need JSON so that we can like pick out the content or uh, the user ID that sent the message. Uh, so once we have this JSON object, we can do a for loop. So for value in JSON. So for every key in the JSON, we need to print the value. And we should also print a new line so that we can easily separate them from each other. And that's basically all for the function. Now all we need to do is call the function. So retrieve messages with the channel ID, which we can just right click here and copy. Or you can get it from up here as well if you don't have the developer tools enabled inside Discord. Uh, so I'm going to paste it in here. And now if we run this, we should get these three messages. As you can see, we got three objects here and you can see this is the ID. It's the same, or actually this is the message ID. Uh, but this ID is the same because it's the same channel and then this is the author ID which is also the same uh, because it, it is only me the user that sent the messages but we can see the content as well if we are only interested in the content then we can easily pick that out because it's a JSON object so we can just type content inside here and if we save this 
now we should only be getting the content so let's run this as you can, as you can see here we got only the content so basically you can do anything here for each of the contents um, you can format it however you want to but this is basically how you get all of the messages on any discord channel and if you guys found this video helpful then please leave a like down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video